What's up guys? Merry Christmas. Gonna teach you the song Merry Did You Know. This is a little request from my friends out in Arizona. I think Litchfield family or Litchfield Park family or something like that. So gonna teach you how to play the song Merry Did You Know, a classic uh, Christmas song. So um, I'm gonna show you two ways to play it. One is the way that I would play it. Um, it's kind of got some a little bit more, I don't want to say challenging chords in there, but challenging chords. Um, and then I'm going to show you another way that you could um, avoid those challenging chords and just kind of play it with, you know, those regular chords we know. So there's a lot of versions of this song out there. I don't know what the original key is in. I'm just throwing the capo on the third fret here. You guys can do whatever's good for you with your singing. Slide the capo up, slide it down, take it off. Um, but these are the chords. It's, so we're going to be using the chords in the G family. So if you're new, I would check out, like, if you need help on where my fingers are going um, on each chord, I'm going to put a link up top and in the description below. Just showing you a lesson I do, breaking that down, because I'm not going to do it in this lesson. And then also which strings you should be strumming, because you don't want to be strumming the wrong strings and have it sound like that. So if you need help, just want to provide y'all with some additional resources um, to help your playing sound better and more enjoyable. So the first chord is going to be the E minor. Mary, did you know? And I would maybe just, we'll just start on single down strums for these. So it goes D, or E, D. And this is the way I'm going to play it. And then we'll I'll circle back and show you an easier way. So E minor, D, A minor, and I use the easiest A minor chord uh, voicing for this one. So if you need help on that, you know you don't have to do this full A minor seven. You can just do this easiest A minor. I'll put it in the link below. Um, so E minor, D, A minor, B minor. So like we're using this B minor that we would use in the in the D shapes. So um, essentially, you know, you would just, you would be in your E minor form here and then just drop that middle finger down one string to that um, G string. And then you would just play the bottom five strings. Because we want to hear, we want to hear that note there, that B minor as the bass note. Um, so I think that's it, and then it just it just repeats a couple times. So let me do down strums. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would someday walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? So here's where it changes just a smidge. It goes A minor. Mary, did you know? to the D that your baby boy has G come to make you new E minor A minor this child that you've delivered will soon deliver you back to the B minor so let me walk through that last part did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new this child that you deliver will soon deliver you. So let me just, um, there was one passing chord in there, this chord, that D over F sharp. You can do it if you want to, it's not crucial. Um, so that would just be, did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? So you could do this D over F sharp if you wanted to, or this one. Um, yeah, so that's kind of how that last, those last two lines go. A minor, did you, A minor, that your D has G, D over F sharp, E minor, A minor, that you delivered will B minor deliver you. So 
that is the way I would play the verses. Um, but if you wanted to just make it a little bit more simple, you can take the A minor and the B minor out of there and substitute uh, just a C chord and a G over B. So let me show you that. So it would be, so this is the easier version and it still sounds fine. So, Mary, did you know that your baby boy would someday walk on water? So I'm just, instead of doing that A minor and the B minor, I'm doing the C9 and this G over B, because remember that B is still the root note. We want to have that B in there. So it's basically that G over B is kind of like your G chord here, but you just take that middle finger off and then you just play the bottom five strings. So Mary, did you know that your baby boy would someday walk on water. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy would come to make you new? This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. So that's an easier way. If you just want to play it, you know, I mean, just you can do it that way for sure. Um, and then verse two is the exact same as verse one. Uh, the chorus, again, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One is the way I would do it with the regular chords. Um, the other way is the easier way. Um, so the chorus, the blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will live again so c d e minor then it goes the lame the lame will leap the b minor will speak the e minor the praises of the b minor lamb so let me just play that through that just one time the blind will see the deaf will hear the dead will live again The lame will leap The dumb will speak The praises of the Lamb Something like that. So you could do it that way, or if you just wanted, again, we'll take out the A minor and we'll take out the B minor and we'll add in the C and the D. So. The blind will see, the blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will live again. See, the lame will leave, the deep, the dumb will speak, the praises of the land. Actually, maybe that last D, the praises of the land. We'll keep that G over B. I think the D sounds just a little bit funky there, so we'll, we'll keep that. So again, this is the easier way. Um, see, the blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will live again. The lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the praises of the That just goes back into verse three um yeah so that i mean that just shows you pretty much how to play the song there's that one part at the end where it says um did you know the champ baby boy was the sleeping child you're holding is the gray The sleeping child you're holding. Yeah, so that just for that part, you'll just you'll just either hold, um, you know, you'll just either hold that B minor if you're playing it that way, or just hold that G over B if you're playing it the easier way, and then you go back into the um, just to the to the regular chords. Mm -hmm. 
so yeah, I think that shows you how to play it. And then also like you can you can do like if you want to finger pick this song. Um, sorry, my computer's kind of spazzing out on me a little bit. If you wanted to finger pick this song, you could easily do it. Just kind of use that finger picking pattern. I always teach, so, you know, finger pick like a worship leader with three fingers. So if you haven't seen that lesson, show you a super, super easy way to finger pick. So I'm just in my finger picking position here and you just do this. Did you know that your baby boy would someday walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you Delivered will soon deliver you. So just be creative with it. You guys can do what you want to do. I'm giving you the chords, I'm giving you some different templates, some ideas. So I think this is gonna help you guys out. There's some really crazy, confusing lessons out there on, on this song. So I hope this kind of uh breaks it down, simplifies it a little bit. So if you have questions, definitely just leave a comment below. You know I love chatting it up with you guys and answering your questions here on the channel um, head on over to the community tab on my channel if you're new say hello say what's up wish me a merry christmas if you want to uh, i'd love to just kind of get to connect with you and get to know you um, you know it's this is mainly a, an acoustic guitar channel um, but you know i love just making connections with people so definitely uh do that and um yeah that's a wrap you guys i hope this helps you out Catch you all in the next one. Love you, bye.